going everybody? I'm Angelo. Welcome to the Shave Arcade and I am very excited for you guys to be here. So get your quarters ready and let's get our game on. We're going to have a great shave today. So uh, this one here is a special edition from a amazing, an amazing company. One of my very first uh, artists and soaps is, uh, companies that I um, ventured into when I got into wet shaving, which a lot of people do. If you kind of notice by the iconic green tub yes i'm talking about sterling sterling soap rod and mandy does tremendous work i just i have met them before at the maggers meetup in 2023 wholesome amazing people and this project right here friends to the end is just speaks volumes into what they're all about and that is giving back and taking care of the ones that have been there and also their veterans and they've served our country. So Rod and Mandy, thank you for what you do and thank you for who you are and what you bring to our wet shave community. So yes, that note. Hello everybody. So this right here uh, is going to be, this is Friends to the End and this is a homage to uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. And oh my gosh, I got this in the other day from Sterling. Oh, and I cannot stand, I just stop, just I just can't stop smelling it. This has been at my desk. Um, I work from home, so majority of the time. So this has been at my my huffing therapy soap, my daily uh, uh, desk therapy. Is smelling this. <laughs> it is so. Oh my goodness gracious! But yes, I love that. And then I'm going to talk about the uh, the label here in a minute. I have the matching aftershave there. I love that these are in glass. I love the glass bottles, but I just I love the look of these, and plus they they just sit so well on the uh, in the shave den, my cabinet there. So I got the aftershave, got the the soap there, and I got it. I wanted to wait to I usually do my lather beforehand, but I wanted to make my lather while I'm uh, reading the uh, description. But I have my AKA. I got it, you can see the soap moist in there. AKA Brushworks and Glow, and yes. It does uh, glow in the dark. You know, if my light's on, you can't really see it. But um, yes, I this is my favorite, favorite, favorite bowl. And I don't use it as much as I should um, because I, I love it so much. It actually sits here in my bathroom and the glow lights up. It's, it's my nightlight. So along with my uh, glow in the dark clown fruit PAA cube. So these are my these are my uh, night lights. So if I have to get up in the middle of the night, come to the restroom, this is still glowing. <laughs> so, but I love this thing. I use this a lot when I do a lot of my personal shaves or ones that I don't hear and shave with you guys. But um, enough rambling. I'm just really excited. <laughs> so, um, and then speaking of AKA, I have my AKA Brushworks um, Mona Lisa brush with a AKA for synthetic not soaking in my aka and should glow and yes this glows in the dark too uh soaking soaking cups here i'm gonna empty that give me one second there we go ah uh, that's i had that soaking while i took a shower and uh it's cold water now so i dumped it in the other sink um it's my wife's side of the bathroom Love you, babe. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, I I got hot water here in the sink too, so in case I need to uh, add a little bit more moisture. But I mean, with Sterling, it's it's it's, it's tremendous. So and I, I absolutely I just uh, I love what they do. I love Rod and Mandy, uh, all the team there at Sterling and their coffee. It's just tremendous. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So if you guys haven't gotten their coffee yet, get yourself a bag or. Or, or five or nine or 14 and you'll you'll be very excited okay so the description i'm going to read this this is from you guys can follow it's in the description in the video down below if you guys if, you know if kids want to follow along you can so um from sterling from their website um this is our first special edition scent the scent is based on and i'm going to massacre this name my son francis kurt <laughs> Whatever that is, Baccarat Rouge 540, BR540, you guys know what it is. Um, ooh, got it going everywhere. Look at that. Uh, it has top notes of saffron and jasmine, middle of 
amber wood, amber gris, and a solid base of fir, resin, and cedar. So if you guys know Baccarat Rouge 540, you know what I'm talking about. If not, get this um, and you'll be well surprised, you'll be well pleased. So, okay, continuing on. You and me, buddy, we're friends to the end. For years, I said this phrase, sorry, I have, I live with three girls, so my wife and our two daughters, and I have a hair that is just, all my laundry is just their hair. Talk about, we don't have fur pets, I'll get into that in a minute, but I have girls, and there's always hair on all my clothes. Oh, okay, love you. Um, <laughs> for years, I've said this phrase daily to Yadi, our Brittany dog, um, pictured on the label with Paige, which is the black lab. Okay, so uh, let me see here. So Paige is the black lab, and Yadi is that beautiful one right there. These guys are both just so adorable. My gosh, so cute. Um, <clears throat> we adopted him in early 2009 from American Brittany Rescue and Paige a day later from a rescue organization in Tucson. His goofy energy, still lathering, um, and unwavering loyalty helped me through some of the most difficult times in my life. Dogs are wonderful creatures and their companion, companionship a gift. While neither Yadi or Paige, and I hope I'm saying that name, uh, Rod Mandy, uh, if not, please excuse me, uh, are still with us they were absolutely our friends to the end from each sale of every friends to the end product so i this the soap may still be uh available uh right now like it's uh april 6 2024 um i saw some of the splashes on the site on sterling's uh solid clone i think some of the bar soaps are left too so um if it's there get what you can um, <clears throat> so for every sale, 25% of the proceeds will go to two rescue organizations. Half of the money raised will go to the American Brittany Rescue Inc. as a thank you for my best good friend Yadi. The other half will go to Fur Get Me Not, a local rescue organization here in Paris, Arkansas, where um, uh, Rod and Mandy, they're, uh, the Sterling's operating out of uh, Arkansas, um, originally from Texas. Uh, the other half will go to them, okay. Uh, that works tirelessly, to, okay, so forget me not, works tirelessly to combat the serious issue of abandoned animals that plagues the area and finds homes for them all. Love that. Absolutely love that. Um, it, yeah, I mean, pets in general, if you guys have pets, do comment below what, uh, what their names are and what kind of pets. So, we uh, used to have a, a kitty named Jones. He was a black and gray and kind of like a darker tan uh, tabby. Uh, and we had him, uh, our oldest daughter, when she was very little. And then right up until our youngest daughter was a little bit after she was born. Um, and then he passed. So we had Jones for a very long time. And I, he was my daughter's cat, but he was a, a family, um, family member. And at night, I remember he would spend his most of the day with with her with uh, with our daughter um or by himself but at night I'm, I'm a stomach sleeper so i would lay on my stomach and my feet are like this right and um he would jump up on our bed and he would lay like right between my two feet so he's here's my feet me laying on my my stomach and he would lay right here between my feet and I couldn't sleep until I felt him get into the bed. Once I felt him get into the bed and lay between my feet, we both fell asleep. I miss you, Jones. Now we have six leopard geckos. Completely different because, yes, fortunately, wife and girls are allergic to fur babies, to, uh, to, to pets. Um, but we have been blessed to... Uh, not only inherit, but also adopt some leopard geckos. And our one of the six, which name is Chet. Uh, Chet, if you guys have watched Barbershop Duet, who did an episode on this, Friends to the End, they showcased their, um, they showcased uh, the people's pets that they sent in the pictures. And you will see, I'm gonna see if I can find my picture and maybe attach it to this video. 
And if so, uh, you'll see Chet. But Chet, out of the six, he likes to lay right here. So I'll be laying in bed with my shirt off because, I mean, who wears shirts at home? Uh, yeah, I do to film this. But, uh, <laughs> and he'll lay right here. Chet will. Will lay on my, right on my shoulder, on my chest. And I'm so tempted to get a tattoo of him. <laughs> but I'm sure he'll outlast all of us. So those guys last forever. But anyways, Chet is my homie. And he uh, he just loves to sit there on my shoulder and just chill. So if I'm laying up in bed. Um, Crystal will bring him over to me, lay him on my chest, and he'll sit there for the remainder of the night. And the other guys... You know, they, uh, they're pretty self-sufficient, you know, the leopard geckos. They, uh, each, each one of them's got their tank, uh, their own separate, uh, tank, and, uh, they're, you know, all spoiled to death, so, um, but I love them. Oh, man, the sterling base. Oh, and it just smells so good. There we go. Man, by the way, there is my Mona Lisa. It matched so well. Um, so Gardner did a series uh, for AKA Brushworks on brushes themed colors after works of art. And this was after the colors that are in the Mona Lisa. So there's two things to this. One, green. I love, love, love green. One of the reasons why I also love Sterling because I absolutely love the green iconic tubs and everything that they do is green. And I love green. Um, but also, too, this also reminds me of the camouflage that uh, soldiers wear, and especially like woodland camo. Or, uh, but yeah, because also homage to um, Ride Mandy, who are veterans, and all of you out there who are veterans, thank you for what you do for our country. I absolutely respect and love you as a, uh, a son of a uh, Army Reserve uh, veteran. Thank you for your service. Okay. A lot of friends that are vets. And if you see a vet, show them some love. Okay. Now, for hardware, I'm going to use my Gates 921. And that is the regular medium plate. So, there we go. And I'm going to use a fresh 7 o'clock Permasharp. So, the 7 o'clock Permasharps... Uh, to me, this is probably one of my biggest, like, go-tos because, like that, drop that in like so, drop the plate like so. This pairing right here works so well for me. Um, it's just one of those combinations that I have found in my wet shaving journey that just work. Uh, I got about three days of growth and here we go. Uh, I have several, several razors like this that I know that I can just grab and I know if I put this blade in it, it's going to work for me. And, uh, look at that. Perfect. Just, I could, I could do one swipe and be done. I know uh, Yates makes the higher plates, like the um, more efficient, more aggressive. But I'm more like, you know, between hyper mild, mild, and uh, medium type. So it's uh, anything more than that, um, I'm not a fan of. So for those of you who have a Gillette Slim, adjustable or uh, Gillette um, 195, the uh, Fat Boy. I'm about a four, five at the most. I've never really gone to like the nine on those adjustables, just to give you a reference. Uh, I stay right about between there. I have dialed it up to a six on my slim, but even, and that's with the same blade. Mm. But that's about it. 
So I'm not trying to chase exactly the BBS um, because by like, right now it's about 10 in the morning. By four o'clock, I'd have to shave again if I needed to. <laughs> so <laughs> why try to chase BBS about 10 minutes later when I have to shave again? <laughs> Well, some people will say, well, if you did BBS, you wouldn't have to shave so fast. My hair grows that fast, okay? Like, look at all this. This grew out in two weeks. I used to uh, buzz my head with the one guard. There we go. And, well, yeah, so. Those of you out there and, and that know fragrance knows Baccarat Rouge 540. And there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of, uh, I would say, like um, fragrance houses or something like that that have taken after uh, what they've done with that fragrance. And, but also there's been, you know, uh, duplicates, dupes, as they're called, uh, of that. And uh, there's, I know um, All Fragrance makes one, Barrett makes one. I'm probably going to get them both. Uh, and then you got this baby right here, uh, it's Friends to the End. So what I would like to do now that I have this set is probably get either or both Barrett and also Alt Fragrance and then probably go to Micro Perfumes or something and get a small decan of the real Baccarat Rouge 540 because I know I can't afford that. <laughs> I mean, I could if I saved up for it, um, but I really like Micro Perfumes to get like their travel sprayers um, and uh, Barrett does it too, and Alt oh, Fragrance does it too. So these little guys here, and what's so cool is that you twist it, and it's got the little doodad there. Where then you spray it, and that is the thing there. I, I love these little things, and that's just about enough for what I would need it for. So look at that. And Barrett has these also. Um, this is my wife's. I got her. Uh, this is. We're a big fan of Tom Ford also, and. Uh, Tom Ford, uh, I got her the Bitter Peach, uh, Rose, forgive me, Rose Prick, <laughs> forget my language, but that's what it's called. Um, so many different ones. Uh, Bitter Peach is, oh, my gee, I can wear that and absolutely love it. So, okay, put that down there. Now, we're going to go for our second pass. That first pass was just effortless. It's Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh man, I cannot wait to get that splash on. I put a little bit on when this came in the mail, and Chris was like, and I'm like, that's it. That's Baccarat Rouge 540, baby. <laughs> so she's a fan also, and I'm sure both her and our girls will probably use this. So my shoulder and the label. They just went crazy on it. They're like, oh my gosh, the puppies are so cute. They're like, I know. Told them the story and everything about, you know, what they're doing, what Rod and Mandy, what you guys over there at Sterling are doing to uh, for this special edition. Raising money for the, uh, for the rescues. It's so awesome. So if you have a local rescue or anything like that, always, if you can, do support them. Donate. Do what you can. Adopt if you're able. Um, because our fur babies, the babies out there, they need love too. Um, I love, I love dogs, but I'm, I'm, I'm a cat person, but I'm also a lizard person. So, I mean, I love our leopard geckos. I'm not actually a lizard. So, <laughs> I love our geckos. All right. Second pass. Oh my gosh. 19 minutes into it. Woo wee, but thank you guys for hanging out. Speaking of love, um, throw a like, comment, uh, subscribe, tell your friends, all of such. I would appreciate it. Um, I do have a link tree at the bottom there in the description. If you folks are ever inclined to uh, get any of, you know, stuff and i also am showcasing another new one that's out there which is oh that's, that's my wife's so <laughs> but yeah thank you for supporting the uh the shave arcade i do appreciate it
Um, I do have the stuff down there. I've got, you know, all the goodies, the stuff, as well as the stuff that's there. All of my link tree. Look at that. Wow. Love this. And Sterling, ugh. 98.9% .9 of all our sterling in our uh in our shave den in our collection so far is my wife's uh, i have uh duke and then she has duchess and that's how we started was duke and duchess uh in, which is burberry brit uh then you got his and hers pretty much and um I love that. I have the trifecta of that. Salt, Splash, and the EDP uh, from Sterling. And uh, she has the soap for it. Uh, and we got that. That was our first Sterling sets. But then she just got a bunch after she has Wild Orchid. She has the unscented bees. Uh, I think it's the uh, beeswax, um, naked and smooth. And then she has, well, uh, the uh, I think it's black orchid. Sorry, um, sweet stuff, frankincense and myrrh, which I love that scent. So there's a lot that she has that I use, but there's a lot that I want that I don't have yet. I used to have Island Man, but I um, piffed that to a newbie, new wet shaver, getting into it. That's um, Creed um, Virgin Island Water, and it's re-released again right now, and I am probably going to get it back. <laughs> so, <laughs> but he was my nephew. He was wanting to get into wet shaving. He smelled it. He fell in love with him. Like, got to grow the community. Got to get him into good shaving. So I'm like, well, okay, have at it, bud. And he took my set, my soap, and after shave. If <laughs> Island Man, um, the iconic blue of that is just so cool. But um, that's what I love. I mean, for what is it? Nearly six house. I mean, look at all this. Look at all that. I mean, this. If you are a brand new wet shaver, just getting into it, this is probably one of the best values for what you're getting. But also, performance wise, scent wise, uh, the green. Yes, I mean, just look at that. Gorgeous. I scoop, so we scoop, and this will last for years, maybe, because there's four of us that are wet shavers in the house, so I give it a year. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I mean, this can't speak enough on it. I love Sterling, and one thing that's cool, too, and I see what you do, guys. You know, as far as like enabling, I, I, I respect it and I love what you guys do, but just the heart that they put out um, as far as like forgiving and stuff like that. Uh, they threw in a sample of their bar soap for lime, and now I gotta buy this because I smell this when I opened up my package here. And when this came, I smelled this and I was like, okay, I love the friends to the end, but now I gotta get this. <laughs> And my young, I, I had to get this away from my youngest because she, she's like, nope, that's mine. I'm like, I, okay, you can have it, but let me show the people first. So, <laughs> I gotta get the line. And that's gonna fit perfectly in coming up into the uh, warmer months here in Michigan, which will probably be like for about a week, but uh we'll get uh we'll get some nice weather coming up soon we'll see maybe it's not snowing again um we had snow easter weekend so it's michigan what are you gonna do bueno oh my gosh that's just gorgeous okay here we go and i do apologize for the longer video but it's just it's sterling i just just I, I i love what they do and i just had to spend a little extra time to talk about this tremendous soap and the project that they're doing. There we go. Okay, got all that. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. That is. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
that is just, oh my God, just. <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540, friends to the end. Rod Mandy, cannot wait to see you guys again at the Maggers Meetup coming up in uh, April 20th. And uh, it's going to be such an honor to see you guys again. But also thank you for what you do for the community and for the, all the fur babies out there. Folks, if you have them, give them a, a love and a kiss from me. Okay. Thank you. Again, my name's Angelo. Thank you for hanging out here at the Shave Arcade. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey,